guys, welcome back to Do It On A Dime. Today I am taking you through Dollar Tree. Everything is now $1.25. They've even got signs up that say, grab it before it's gone. That could not be more true. We're doing DIYs, organizing. These are those hidden gems you look out for. I want you to have so much fun in today's video. You deserve it. Let's jump into it. Let's talk organizing containers. They did another wave of these to store. I really love the colors this year, but there is one, my friends, I want you to look out for. They are snap close lids and clear containers. These retail for six to seven dollars at other craft stores. They're amazing if you like crafting and they come in all of those beautiful colors, so don't miss it. They also stack up really nicely and they fit all of my vinyl tape perfectly, especially if you have the Cricut Joy. They also have have these bigger bins at the Dollar Tree Plus section. These are $3 each, but awesome for craft supplies. I love that you can see everything. You make sure, my friends, to come to the laundry section. They have these metal bins back. I really love these combined with the rope from here. You can find that in the craft section. You can create a beautiful basket for just a couple of dollars. I love the look. One of the super secrets for taking your products from good to great is by combining two or more items, especially one that you really love. This rope is so versatile and these bins are really high quality. Basically, you're gonna feed it midway through and then just weave it around. And y'all, we are gonna connect this at the end with a zip tie. Super easy and it looks great in any space. High end on a budget. And I wanna show you something at the front of the store you also don't wanna miss. The Valentine signs this year are my favorite they've ever been, and let me show you the two that you should keep your eyes out for. The first is this really cute envelope. It comes with a little heart. You can put little cards in here for your kids. I typically like to do one special thing for the boys every year for Valentine's Day, so I think I'm gonna put these on their doors. And they have these really cute rainbows, and we are gonna do a high-end looking macrame DIY with this. These are so expensive on Etsy, but yes, they are very easy to make. Check this out. This DIY was so easy. You need some yarn, which you can also find at the Dollar Tree. Maybe you have some at home and you barely need any for this project. You're gonna take three ropes and then connect it together by tying the yarn at the base and then just wrapping around. And I just eyeballed the size of this. I actually texted this picture to my friend who was not sure this project was going to turn out, but I just eyeballed how much rope I would need on each layer. And then at the end, you're just gonna take a hairbrush and brush it out so it has a nice frayed look. Once you have all of the sizes is complete, you're going to hot glue this right onto your form. And in between each of the tied layers, just to save time, I decided to do a natural layer. And I really like the woven look anyway. I just put some tape on the bottom to help hold together. You could do a group of two or three and then just added a little dab of hot glue. To even up the edges, take some sewing scissors at the end so everything is all one length. There's something so whimsical and sweet about rainbows and I knew the playroom was gonna be the perfect spot for it. Let's talk the secret of Dollar Tree flowers. The roses are my absolute favorite. If you just buy a few bunches and break them down, you can put this inside an existing arrangement to help change it out for the seasons and not spend a lot of money. Plus it's one of those DIYs that anybody can do. It is that easy. These roses are so very versatile and I wanna show you a really quick DIY you can do for well under $10. Every supply you see here came from the Dollar Tree. I really love the metal hoop wreath forms. You actually get three for a dollar in three sizes. I just took some tongue depressors and put them on the back adding hot glue and yes that glue gun is from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna stick to my guns on that one. I actually think it's a really good hot glue gun especially if you don't have one and are brand new to crafting. Then you just want to cut down your roses. I actually just pulled these off and hot glue it to the tongue depressors. I added some greenery and then I also decided to add this little envelope that I showed you earlier in the video. This would make the most adorable grandparent gift, a really personalized way to decorate around your home. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Honest question, how come when everything was a dollar, we were grabbing 10, and now that it's a dollar 25, we're scared to buy it? Why is that? I don't know. But what I do know is this is a really great deal. Totally channels Pottery Barn. Add a little bit of Dollar Tree sand to it, and you've got a super high-end look on a budget. You put these in mass on a table. How gorgeous for just a few dollars. 
When I say these sparkle, these sparkle. This is 100% my favorite product of the video. My sweet friend, you come to the party section. They brought in brand new jars. Now I have the big ones and we use those by our coffee station and I actually use them for my kids too. But now they have mini ones as well. These would be so cute in a craft room. I love them so much. Let me know in the comments down below where you would use them. I've got a project coming up, so you be sure to subscribe so that way you can see what I end up doing with them. I don't typically do a lot of decorating for Valentine's. Let me know in the comments down below if you do, but there's a couple things I wanted to show you. I love the lawn stakes this year. They are absolutely adorable. And they also have these really pretty wooden hearts that I think would look really great in mass. But one of my favorite finds are the gnomes, and this is contested in our household. They were there for Christmas, and now they're like, no, we're sticking around for Valentine's Day. They're really, really big and super cute. I love having them out, although Charlie doesn't necessarily agree with me. But there's a couple of really fun things in this section that I think your kids would really like. And the first are mini gumball machines. These are really adorable, and you can personalize them. I also really love the pedestals that they have this year, as well as the beaded wooden hearts. Those are super cute, no DIY required. Oh my gosh. This is so salty. I love it. <laughs> oh, the teacher in me is so excited. They have an entire section of all poppets. These are such great little sensory toys, and my kids love these. These poppet tubes are super fun. We got some of these for Christmas. They even have bracelets, they have mini keychains, tons of stuff. So, if you're a classroom teacher or your kids love these things, awesome gift idea. We have to have a conversation. You let me know in the comments down below. Peeps or no peeps? They have a cotton candy version and a coffee peep, I, I love them. I am loving the hair accessories right now. I purchased recently a ton of the Dollar Tree headbands and I posted them on Instagram and so many of you were asking about it. I saw these exact scrunchies all over Instagram the other day. They've got the pretty pearls in them. I think this is so cute and definitely coming home with me. Finding those super great products. I wanna throw back to my previous video of these behind the door hangers for your brooms. I also found one in the garden section. I tried it out in my garage. You do have to anchor this to the wall, but it is awesome. Another great product I highly recommend. But there is one thing I want you to know, and I had to sit down and say it. You, my friend, are more than enough. The fact that you made it here today means so much to me. Would you click that subscribe button and join the community because I want to see you in the next video. And if it's okay with you, I'd love to give you a goodbye. I will see you guys soon. Bye. Wait a minute, hold on. I just, <laughs> normally when I come in here, I scope out the store to like find what I want to show you guys, but this just caught me off guard and I had to bring you down to show you. Hold on, hold on. They have bunny butt picks. If you've been around for a while, you know I have an obsession with bunny butts. This is so cute. I think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> this stuff is so good too.